Ford Fiesta ZTEC S has since been modified. That's a big plus to have. Quick repairs. Oh, that's good. Phew. No, it wasn't. Oh. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> Oomph, get used to this. Oh, it was such a letdown though before though, weren't yeah. they? Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is about this and we're back filming Marta's Ford Fiesta ZTEC S. Now I am still car-less. Luckily Martin has two cars. This is one of his cars that he owns and this has been my daily driver to and from work because I don't have a car at the moment. And whilst I've been driving this around for a couple of weeks now full time as my daily driver, I've been driving it around thinking this is a pretty cool nippy car and we should do some more videos on this car for sure. So when Martin first got this car and we first introduced the car to you guys here on YouTube, there was a few things that Martin wanted to do to this car and after nearly a year of ownership, a year of ownership in January next year, 2024, in the year of ownership Martin has done some things to this car. So we're going to do a walk around kind of part two today because the car has since been modified since the first video. Martin's touched up some bits that he wanted to do which will let the car down. Now don't get me wrong, this car isn't heavily modified. First of all, they no longer make the Fiesta anymore, as you guys may already know. And also, this ZTEC S is only going to become rarer because they don't make the Fiesta anymore. And this is one of the kind of sportier Fiestas. Martin's here as well, so we'll get him on camera to talk about his own car. Let's do it. So I'm here with the one and only Martin. Hi there. Back filming your car. You're looking pretty uh, smart, I must say. It's like yeah. a summer's day in October. It is actually, isn't it? So since owning the car, we have addressed a few things, or you have, because it's your car. So shall we start with the front of the car, a little touch you did? Yeah, I had these number plates done, because it was a genuine Bournemouth Ford car. So I had the plates done and I had the Bournemouth Ford and the postcode put on, which is no longer with us anymore. But that's where it originally come from. Well, we have a local Ford dealership still, but yeah, it's no longer that group, no, is that, it? Like that site is now a Lidl's. A new set of plates always looks smart on a car, doesn't it? Yeah. But I mean, obviously the car's still on its original plates as such with the reg, but yeah, just having the Bournemouth Ford at the bottom is a nice little touch. Just reminding you actually, another little thing you did to the front of the car, and you did it yourself, I'm pretty proud of yeah, you. Yeah, I've done this. Um... Painted the grill. <laughs> I could, couldn't think of the word, the grill. And this like lower balance, just give it a spray with some matte black. Just a little it's lick right. of paint yeah. to freshen it up, weren't it, it really? fine from across the road, just don't get too close. Oh. No, it looks fine. Pleased with it because that really let the front down. It's yeah. all faded grey. And with the shiny grill, mesh grill at the top and then yeah. the more black bit at the bottom. I a little repair on that because it was a little bit pushed in, but it looks okay now. It looks really smart actually yeah, from the front, doesn't it? Yeah. A major thing letting the car down was the centre caps, wasn't it? Yeah, they were like a polished centre cap. My friend at work, he sprayed these for me and I've got some new little Ford logos to match the alloy colour pretty much. And I'm really pleased with them because they were poor. Basically, poor. the polished was like, um, yeah, what's the word off, you call it? Corroded. Lacquer peel and stuff. Yeah, yeah. The lacquer peel would come off. Yeah, so although they're not polished like they should be, you just had them done silver to kind of match the wheels. Yeah. A cheap kind of fix. Yeah, that looks nice. I get a few comments to say how nice the wheels look. Oh, it was such a letdown though before though, weren't yeah. they? But it just looks much smarter yeah, for a just, cheap fix. Just, they look original like that, but obviously... They're not, but they're it's not, a nice... But it looks nice. Yeah, nice yeah. and neat now. Especially with the little... Well, they had a Ford badge on them, were they, originally? And now yeah, so you I put the sticker on top. Yeah, I think it was imprinted in the yeah. centre cap. The other but at one. least you've got a sticker on top to, again... Yeah make it look more original in it yeah it looks nice so yeah all four of the um, center caps on all four wheels have been done like that How does it not quick repairs <laughs> i'll do it in a minute i'll do it in a minute, minute. <laughs> onto the rear of the vehicle a couple of little bits yeah so we got the number plates again with the bournemouth ford postcode on the back new ones we had a new little badge put on not a badge <clears throat> no a gel sticker, sticker. overlay you were a bit disappointed though, we can say yeah, it, can't we? Slightly, Off slightly colour. not quite the Ford colour, but I'm going to get some better ones that are proper. Oh, it needs to be a little bit darker blue. Yeah, the shade of blue we were a bit yeah. disappointed by. It's a little bit too light. Stainless Cal steel. Point. Stainless yeah. steel. Bat box. box. Which is nice, gives it a little bit of a purr. I think we should it. give it a little bit of a purr for this video as well in a bit. Yeah. Just to remind it the viewers. It just gives it a little bit more... Um, Oomph. Yeah. <laughs> and apart from the rear wiper currently falling off, that is it for the rear at the moment, yeah? yeah? It's not too bad, yeah. Another little thing you decided to do yourself? 
Yeah, these little grommets on the outside here, they were really rusty and rain drips yeah. and stains all down there. So I scraped off all the rusty marks and just spray blacked these to make that window look just, a bit Just neater. silly little things, innit? Yeah. They're things that it I wouldn't think of. They just looked a bit scaly and yeah. a bit horrible. They were a bit brownie. Yeah, they were brownie, so they weren't look, they? They look neater now. Yeah, I'll get some black. close ups, but just another little smart thing. You masked up the window, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. Little DIY job. Just little things, because these are little clip out, pop out windows. Yeah, yeah, they're smart, so they, aren't they? They just look a bit neater. They don't look old. Put an aftermarket radio in, obviously handy having a USB port. Kept the original radio, it's a little blanket page just to fill that It's hole. not the best job, but it's there. No, it's okay. It's it there. Works. It was a faff, wasn't it? Do you yeah, remember? Yeah, it's a bit, a bit fiddly, but... And also, I had a guy that I know off the Ford Fiesta site. He sent me the blue LED lights for my clock so it's not green. So the immobiliser and security night is blue. There you blue. go, it is very the bright blue, blue as well, isn't it? Instead of the green, which is just a little thing I like. He can also do these, so they can do them any colour Switches. you like. It's just a little feature. And I, the clock was quite broken up. Pixelated, the pixel, some of the pixels, pixelated yeah. Pixelated in green, it wasn't very good. Contacted this guy, it was really helpful. Done me a really good job and a good price. I got the original, but he sent yeah. me a blue one. new clock. Blue. And you fitted that yourself? Yeah, the little blue interior, because obviously these were done with either the red interior or the blue interior, the Z-Tech mm -hmm. Mine's blue and I've got a lovely new steering wheel on with the white clock, so. I mean, the please. blue clock, like you said, I was like, oh, are you sure do you want blue? Because obviously your clocks yeah, are still green. Yeah, I quite like the blue to match but, yeah, the car. Yeah, it's nice to have a bit of and blue. And the roof line into really good condition and the interior's absolutely mint. Action, go. Pop that so bonnet, baby the bonnet. You're talking as if you're just doing a video yourself, I love it. I'm getting used to it. You're getting used to it. Then I'll come closer, but that looks pretty good. Go. Yeah, so I just got the HT leads. Another guy off... eBay, um, wasn't he? No, he uh, might yeah, he have was. been a Facebook site, yeah. I can't remember. But he does any colour leads you want. HT leads. HT leads, so I thought yellow to go with all the yellow caps. Um, yeah, there's a the few yellow in there. Dipstick. Oil, dipstick, yep. the bonnet stay. <laughs> there was a lot of so yellow. So I just thought it was a little contrast. It looked quite mm -hmm. cool in yellow. Good idea. With the cap. Mm -hmm. um, that breather pipe. I've got Silicone a blue one. Pipe. What's I'm that? perhaps going to do that yellow. I'm thinking about it. Mm. Perhaps do that yellow. But it might be a bit too much. Aftermarket. Pipe cross. Pipe cross air filter. Who fitted that? Me. No, it wasn't. It's me! Oh, sorry. I did a whole video on it, you cheeky oh, yeah, little sorry. devil. <laughs> <laughs> I know you had a comment earlier, someone saying you've boy raced it up, but you haven't. You've, the main point to say is you've got all the original parts. Cause yeah, I've got them all, yeah. They're yeah. all in a box at home. You're not chucking stuff so, away? No, no. It was just, this pipe was really discoloured. And it catches your eye now, it's yeah, right there. Yeah, it was just grey, so I mm. thought I'd just get a nice new bit of That wasn't the cheapest there. either, was no, it? No, that can't wasn't remember. cheap. Um, Obviously, got the old sticker, you can't see the filter, but yeah. And we've done the air filter. Yes, me. As if I'd forget. And well, you did. The HT leads <laughs> I'd done in yellow to match the You cuts. fitted them yourself? Obviously, screen wash. Yeah. There is a lot of yellow, actually. Yeah. That pipe would have added a little bit of BHP, I suppose. The pipe cross air filter might have done yeah, as well. Yeah, might have done, yeah. But, and with the exhaust, it, it goes all right, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. But I think you've done a bit nippy. of the air mod, the exhaust. It's nippy. It's not a yeah. Cosworth, but it's. It's nippy, mm. I like it. All these yellow bits I have scrubbed away with some of my Valentin products and got them really clean. These were all black. These caps were black. I was, I did look at buying new ones, but they were so expensive, genuine Ford. So I thought I'll just- um, They've come up well, I'll both grease them and really clean them up. So I'm quite pleased all these little things. And this one, <laughs> these, that, just got- And all the plastics as well, haven't you? You've and kind of treated white. a bit. Yeah, all I've just plastics. cleaned it all up. Yeah, the plastics have had a little bit of treatment on, but nothing major, just to make them look a bit um, cleaner when you open the bonnet. But it's certainly very presentable now. I mean, yeah. I mean, it wasn't too bad in the first place, but obviously it must yeah. have been grubby for you to... And obviously inside there is my new little... Oh, God, we nearly my forgot. My new little cam belt. And did you have water pump? And the water pump. Yeah, costly uh, job, but done by a garage. oil change. But it's done. And I've put new plugs in it. Yep. 
So that was done by the garage. So that's a big plus to have um, done on an old Ford. It's an expense, camper. isn't it? Because you had it done professionally, yeah, it's cheap, but, but it's all done I in the service it book. it was worth it because of what the car is. Exactly, keep bit, it going, low it's a mileage. Bit rarer, and I enjoy driving it. It does get some looks as well. So I'm pleased. You love talking about it. They're not looking at well. me, they're looking at the car. Oh, that's good. Phew. As I've been driving this around, obviously, I've kind of been saying to you I want to do some more videos on the car because, obviously, I don't own anything and I want to film cars and we do have a couple of cool, well, you've got a couple of cool cars in your um, ownership, I've got absolutely nothing, but it's just, I think we will do some more videos on this car, I want to do a driving video, like I say, get the old GoPro out, but it's just a touch base and just talk about the mods and stuff, isn't it, really, and the little yeah. touches you've done to improve it. I mean, the cam belt, I'm glad you remember to say that, because it was one of those things where I was like, oh, I must say that, but I just forgot, but... MOT till next month. Mm. Um, it's just ticked over on the speedometer. Yes, it has, yes. This week I took a photo. Insert it here. 70,000. Mm -hmm. It ticked over to 70,000 this week. Because that's the annoying thing with me driving it. I mean, we don't go far for work, do we? We're lucky, but I am putting the mileage up. Yeah. The camera rudely cut us off, but I think what we're all saying is we can't see any reason why it shouldn't pass an MOT. No, it should be fine. It should be fine. I think you've just done some nice bits to it. Yeah. The main thing is, when I'm driving this around all the time, as I have been, the exhaust is just like, it burbles so much. Mm. Like, it's sometimes you feel it's a bit loud, but like, we wouldn't change it, would we? No, it's, it's nice. It yeah. goes with the car. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. nippy and now it sounds nippy as well. Yeah. Car is kind of for sale, testing the waters. Well, yeah, we'll see how the MOT goes. Yeah. Um, and a possibility, I could be thinking of selling it for the right price, isn't it? Like, yeah. Sell. And the cam belt. Yeah, cam belt, service history. It is good condition. The interior is like like new, really. Yeah. But thanks for joining me on camera. Okay. Thanks for letting me drive your car around. You've had no choice, <laughs> but I'll sort myself out. And I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed more of an overlook of the. Fiesta Z-Tech S we have here with its little bits of modifications, but as I say, we do have mostly original parts, so don't worry. People who say, oh, you should have kept it standard, we have the standard parts. That's it. Anything more to say? I don't think so. Me too. Thanks for Thanks. watching. <laughs> Bye. 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 other half's Fiesta ZTEC S. No, I don't want to say other half. If I have to say your name. It's Martin. Just Martin. <laughs> and I don't actually know what to say. I need to oh, think. I don't know what we're doing. No, I just I need to over. think about it. Someone's reversing, aren't they? Is there any background noise? I'm just I'm going to be going backwards for long. Right, okay. Why is it every time we come in? Stop. Stop. Hang on, right, go. Yes. Um, so you've done a few things.